still a calc game. Welcome back to some physics. So let's get started. So this problem is giving us that we have a wrecking ball that's held in two places, or held in place by these two cables. The mass of the wrecking ball is about 3,620 kilograms, and now we need to find the tension in both of these cables. So let's go ahead and get started. So just like any problem, we're going to want to start with a force body diagram. So let's start, we're drawing our force body diagram of the wrecking ball. So we're drawing our force body diagram from here. So of course with any object, we're going to have the weight of the object pulling it down. That's by force of gravity. So force gravity pulls straight down. So these two tables are going to be in tension, right? So tension, A, it's going to pull in the direction of the cable. That tension is keeping the block from falling, or the, the wrecking ball from falling this way. So it's going to pull to the left, and we're going to label that tension A. Then we have tension B, which is holding it this direction at that 40 degree angle. So we can draw tension B here, right? And then we know that that internal angle here is going to be 45, 40 degrees. Cool. So when we have any of these forces that are at an angle, it's going to be advantageous for us to represent them as an x vector and a y vector. So we can think about this as tension B in the y direction and tension B in the x direction. So tension B in the y direction pulls up this way, tension B in the x direction pulls that way. So now let's do some of the forces, right? So if we're trying to find tension B or tension A, there's two equations we can do to solve that. We can add the forces in the x direction and we can add the forces in the y direction. And when we're adding the forces, Right, we know that sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to mass times acceleration. But if acceleration is equal to zero, then the sum of the forces have to be equal to zero. And in this case, the wrecking ball isn't moving at all. We're sitting still, we're at equilibrium. That tells us that acceleration is equal to zero, and that the sum of the forces in the y direction has to be equal to zero, right? Because we're not accelerating upward or downward. So next step is to add them up in the y direction. So let's look. So we have force of gravity pulling down, so we're going to subtract force of gravity. And then we have tension B in the y direction pulling up, so tension B, but only in the y direction. All right, so tension B pulls at this angle, so we're only interested in how much it pulls vertically. So now we have two unknowns, right? Force of gravity and tension B in the y direction. We need to expand these equations. So let's start with force of gravity. So force of gravity, right, is equal to mass times the gravitational constant. So we're given the mass is 3,620 kilograms, and the gravitational constant is 9.81 meters a second squared. So then force of gravity is equal to 3, 35,512.2 newtons. Right, that's what we want right there. So that's one of the constants we have. But we need to find tension B in the y direction. We're not interested in tension B in the y direction, we're interested in finding tension B. So let's right, draw a triangle. So when we have any of these, right, it's going to be a trig thing. So I'm redrawing this triangle here just to the side for clarity, 40 degrees. We know that this is tension B. It pulls at this 40 degree angle. But we're just interested in tension B in the y direction. So we have this right triangle, right? We know that this is a right triangle. And now we just need to use some geometry. So when we have adjacent and hypotenuse, we're probably going to use cosine. So we know that cosine of 40 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so tension by over tension b. So now if we multiply tension b over, we get tension b cosine of 40 degrees is equal to tension b of y. So now that we calculated tension b of y, we can plug this in to the equation for tension b of y. So let's go back over here, write our next line. So zero is equal to negative. So we found force of gravity, 35,512.2, plus, and then instead of tension by, we're gonna plug in tension b, cosine of 40. All right, so now we have an equation with only one unknown, tension b, and then these two are numbers. So to solve for it, it'll be pretty simple. Let's grab a share. Let's add this. 35,000 over to the other side. 35,512.2 is equal to tension of B cosine of 40. Then we're going to divide by cosine of 40. 35,512.2 divided by cosine of 40 is equal to tension of B. Now you do the math on this. You get tension of B is equal to 46,358 newtons. 
All right, so we answered part A, now we need to find the tension of A, right? So uh, let's go ahead and erase all of this work and start over. All right, so now that we have tension of B, it's gonna be easy to find tension of A. So let's start with this. So remember how we did some of the forces in the y direction? Now our second equation, some of the forces in the x direction. We know it's equal to mass times acceleration. But like I said, this wrecking ball is at equilibrium. It's not accelerating, it's not moving. It has a constant velocity of zero. So that acceleration is zero. So that tells us that zero is equal to the sum of the forces in the x direction. And so now let's add them up. So tension of the A is pulling in the negative x direction. So we're gonna subtract tension A. And then we need to add to tension B. But tension B is pulling at an angle, so you can't just add tension B. It's gonna be tension B in the x direction. So same thing again, let's move tension A over. So let's add tension A to both sides. And now we have tension B of x. So similarly to how we have to use cosine to find tension B of y, let's try to find tension B of x. So now tension B of y, or, or, tension B of x is this x version of the triangle, this up here. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. So we can use sine, so sine of 40 degrees is equal to tension B of x over tension of B. So again, we're gonna multiply tension of B over sine of 40 is equal to tension B of x. And so this is what we're gonna plug in for tension B of x here. Tension of B sine of 40 degrees. So we know what tension B is, so we can plug in that number. So you're gonna get tension of A is equal to 46,358 sine 40. And if you do the math in your calculator, you get that tension A is equal to 29,789 newtons. And there you go. So those are your two tensions in both of the, in both of the cables. All right, so it's a bit about using that trigonometry. Uh, if you've never done this stuff before, it might be really complicated to you, but I promise you do a couple of these problems and it starts to make a lot of sense because you will realize that all of them are the same, just about using your trig and geometry. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Check out my playlist to see more physics problems, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.